Welcome to Protect and Grow with Chicagoland Certified Financial Planner Tim Stearns of TJ Stearns Incorporated. Trust, respect, and results. TJ Stearns Incorporated focuses on comprehensive financial planning and benefits. And welcome into the program, Protect and Grow Chicagoland Retirement. This is the common sense resource with information about your money, your finance, your retirement planning future, and the resource here on the program that Chicagoland area savers and investors turn to. He is certified financial planning professional, Tim Stearns, CFP, president and founder of TJ Stearns, Inc. And Tim, it is always a pleasure. We always appreciate the time and the information, guidance, and insight. Peter, thanks for having me. I look forward to today's show. We have a lot of great uh, topics on on hand here. We do. We do indeed, because you brought along this report, Tim, of the nine critical risks that every retirement plan must address for financial and retirement confidence. Now, several of the risks on this list, Tim, I, I do notice they probably aren't that well known. And I think that there is some reason behind that. And we'll we'll get into some of the reason, but let, let's kick it off and talk about why it's important to identify and address risks in retirement. And and these go beyond, by the way, just the risk that the market moves up and down. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, it's interesting to me, Peter, teaching all these classes. Now, now I've taught in St. Louis, Florida, Arizona, and of course, Chicagoland, that's where I'm based out of. But uh, I, I marvel to see the educated people that are in my classes that don't know a lot of these. So I'd tell anyone out there that would want the list. Uh, there's a lot of things that are, are, are on here that I don't think people are really thinking about for retirement. You know, it's always about the money. How much money do I need to have for retirement? But there are risks out there that can completely derail your plan. Uh, so, again, it's called the, the nine critical risks. Uh, to plan for. And I'm going to go off with the number one risk that people do not uh, know about. And once I, I I explain it to them in class or whether it's on this radio show or in person, uh, they go, oh, the light bulb goes on. So sequence of returns risk. And that is simply this, uh, re- retiring into a bear market. Uh, the timing of your retirement can coincide with a bear market. It might be a rough road in retirement. And that's what we call sequence of returns risk. And we have a really good example of that, of two siblings, Bill and Jill, we call them, that retired three years apart and the difference it made in each of their retirements, just three years, 1996 versus 1999. One retired into a bear market and you know what happened to the other one. She retired into a bull market being 1999. So sequence of returns risk is definitely a risk that people need to be very aware of. Yeah, and- I notice in that example, kind of a supplementary report to this nine critical risks explaining that one in particular sequence of returns risk, Tim, that the average rate of return for both siblings, and in fact, the exact returns for both siblings were the same. They were just in the reverse order and their results, their outcome was completely different. Hence the name sequence of returns because in retirement, that sequence does really matter. And perhaps the reason why people have not heard of these things, Tim, is is kind of twofold. Number one being that this risk in particular does not impact us during our working career while we're earning the paycheck. And number two, the baby boomer generation retiring now is really the first generation that is retiring based on investment assets in the market that would be subject to sequence of returns risk. Well, as as we all know, baby boomers were the first to go through really this guinea pig uh, situation of having 401ks. Most people like my parents' age went through having pensions. I mean, that was a foregone conclusion, but in the 70s, that all changed. Um, so that brings me up to the next one that we've seen, uh, legislation risk. And that is simply, you know, Congress changing the rules inside of the game that we thought we were playing. Um, and I and I call out them in the fact that they changed it with the Secure Act and then the Secure Act 2.0. And our joke, uh, not you know, tongue in cheek in the office is simply, you know, if they give you something in one pocket, trust me, the government took it out of your other pocket. And what I mean by that is, well, they said on the Secure Act, and the Secure Act 2.0 is we're lengthening out when you have to take money out. It used to be 70 and a half. 
then it went to 72 and now it's 73 and it's going to migrate to 75 years old down the road but what they did uh they gave us that in one pocket out of the other pocket they said you know what if you and your spouse aren't here anymore all that money was or whether it's a roth or an IRA or 401k, what have you, has to be drained within 10 years. And that's a problem. You know, that's a lot of people thought, hey, you know, I'm not taking out a lot of my money. You know, I can leave it to my family. Well, guess what? Your family's going to have to drain that account within 10 years. And that really does change the landscape. Yeah. Uh, Again, these are nine critical risks, ladies and gentlemen, that you must address for financial and lasting retirement confidence. And if you'd like this list to remind you of what these nine are and maybe go over on your own time to kind of consider as you are looking at your own plan for retirement, pick up the phone, give Tim Stearns a call. But the real value of the program, this information is that you can get planning assistance with the help and perspective of an experienced, qualified professional, a certified financial planning professional. Tim Stearns offers for the first 10 callers to the program with at least 750,000 saved for your retirement, the opportunity for a complimentary review, a retirement planning strategy session, and to put together the Protect and Grow plan, a written plan for your financial and retirement confidence. 800-640-2256, the number to call. That is 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. And of course, anyone concerned with your financial future, you can uh, meet with Tim. You can discuss those questions and concerns. You can attend any of those upcoming classes around the Chicagoland area. So always an opportunity to get better information, more informed, and to put a better plan together. Again, pick up the phone if you'd like to find out when and where those classes are. Or visit the website tjsterns.com, tjsterns.com, and office conveniently located in Arlington Heights. They make it an easy uh, process to get that plan put together. You can uh, discuss over the phone. You can meet virtually or in person or, again, at any of those upcoming classes held throughout the Chicagoland area. To find out more, tjsterns.com or give a call 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. Tim, uh, maybe that legislative risk is twofold. It's what they do change and legislate into law, such as the SECURE Act, as you mentioned, SECURE Act 2.0, another set of uh, wide sweeping, broad legislative changes, but also the risk of what they have not legislatively addressed. And that is What comes to mind here, what we talked about last week, the pending looming shortfall with the Social Security Trust Fund there, uh, something that they specifically have not legislated to address. Well, uh, we're seeing that a lot of people are are very concerned about that. You know, now it went from 2034 to 2033. um, And that brings up the next topic, which is withdrawal rate. You know, what is the proper withdrawal rate? If I don't have my Social Security and I don't have, uh, you know, if I don't have the amount that I thought I was going to be receiving, uh, then how much more can I take out of my portfolio uh, with withdrawals, right? So we're, we've been, as a society, very good at accumulating, right? We put our money every two weeks into our 401k, we get our match every year, and everyone's happy. But at the end of the day, do you truly know what the safe withdrawal rate is? You know, if the government messes around with Social Security, do you have to take out more? Or if 2022 happens again, where the 60-40 uh, portfolio that many of the baby boomers that I that we meet um, have, you know, it was the worst uh, year ever in the 60-40, which is 60% stocks, 40% bonds. You know, with with that withdrawal rate, when the market's down 20%, when I go to take out, let's say I'm taking out 3%, when the if the market's down, I'm taking actually much more than that depending on what I do. So when you're a net seller of assets, like most 401k participants in retirement or IRAs, you need to be very cognizant of how much you can safely take out. And that again, comes into play where you need a plan. Yeah. Not only a plan, but a plan that you are continuing to monitor and update because conditions change, the world, the financial uh, state changes, our own circumstances change. That plan needs to be able to not only give you some guardrails, some some bumpers along the bowling alley, so to speak, so you can still hit strikes and not risk gutter balls, but also be able to adapt with changes in circumstance and condition in the world around us. Tim, the next one on the list here, a very important one, 
and one that I think we would rather ignore. And, and the problem is that m- more often than not, people do. Well, yes. And we're, you're talking about long-term care. Uh, you know, nine out of 10 of us have not addressed this 800 pound gorilla in the room and seven out of 10 of us over the age of 60 will more than likely need that. Um, a lot of, there's a lot of misconceptions, for example, that Medicare would actually helps out with that. It does not. Uh, what, they, what you might be thinking of is Medicaid. And, and at that point, you have to spend down almost all your assets and the type of care and the level of care is, is very uh, disappointing and very disturbing, actually. Um, so long-term care, you know, most people are, are weary of that because their baby boomers saw their parents buy these policies that have either uh, gone away, the companies have gotten out of the industry, they've raised premiums, it's use it or lose it. Well, guess what? Now there are new policies out there that are hybrid uh, long-term care policies. So they have a life insurance component to it where you have a death benefit and you can take out money out of that uh, to take care of your of your care if you can't do two of your activities of daily living. Full disclosure, my wife and I have that because I do not want to be a burden on my family. And that's very important to me is that if I have a seven out of 10 chance that I'm going to need it, I want to make sure that I have insurance. I have insurance for my house and the chances of my house burning down is about three out of 1000 people. Well, seven out of 10, I don't like my chances, nor do I for my wife. Yeah. And and like all insurance, Tim, I guess we want to try to pay the least amount possible for it. Yes, but also never have to use it and provide the leverage of protection that would be appropriate in case we did encounter that need with the chances of long-term care being almost 70%, according to the Department of Health and Human Services, yep. we need to have this protection in place. And and the attractive part about that new linked benefit style is one way or another, we get something out of the cost that we are paying. It's not use it or lose it. So to continue your example about the possible you know, house fire or, or, or home or auto insurance, Yes, I hope never to have to use it, but if I don't have to ever use it and I sell the car or sell the house, it's not like I get refunded all of the insurance right. premiums or or paid Absolutely. that protection. This is what is available now with the long-term care. That to me makes it maybe the most attractive form of insurance. Well, I'm in into in the it for the if mere example that I want to have a bank for my buck. Someone in the Stearns family will recapture the money that I've put into the policy for my wife and I, uh, and it's tax free, which I think everyone out there in Chicagoland would like to pay less taxes. So that's yet another reason. Plus, it's building a cash value for my family if I want to take it out. So there's three ways again to get money out of it: long term care. Uh, death benefit. And then of course, uh, there's a cash value in there. And Tim, this can be a additional piece to potentially address this next issue, which again is one that we don't generally uh, face in our working career or, or know much about. Actually, I take that back. We do in the event that we pass away early and our income disappears, right? That does not stop once we stop earning the paycheck, spousal income dependency is a risk that we specifically need to plan for, perhaps even more carefully in retirement. Well, spousal income is a is a big deal, right? I mean, <clears throat> a lot of people don't understand that if you do not receive, um, if, if someone passes away, you don't receive both social securities. Very big misconception out there. Another thing is I find that most people haven't run a social security optimization report. I had a gentleman in a class say, well, yeah, I kind of ran the one on the SSA.gov website, which is social security's website. It's very milquetoast and not real specific. We can actually customize it to what people are thinking of doing and then show them the optimal way, which to me tells me everything that that's, that's the way I would want to go. I want to know how can I effectively take my money out that I've paid in over um, 35 plus years and not hurt my spouse? Uh, because the way you're doing it will affect your spouse down the road, good or bad. And so I would tell anyone who wants to do a social security optimization, give us a, a call and we'll do that for you. We're happy to do it. Well, again, this is part of the opportunity that is part of being a listener to this program, a viewer of this podcast, uh, and being proactive in your planning is that you can get that protect and grow plan put together that will help you 
identify and address all nine of these critical risks and make sure that you've got a plan for lasting confidence if you experience them firsthand. That is the Protect and Grow plan put together with the help of an experienced, qualified, certified financial planning professional. Pick up the phone and give a call to speak with Tim Stern, CFP. Uh, ask any questions you'd like. Set up a time for that conversation and a convenient planning strategy session to get your written Protect and Grow plan put together. 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. 800-640-2256. And again, Tim, this list you make available for anyone if they would like to go over this on their own to just kind of do a census and, and check to make sure that their plan has addressed these or consider whether or not it has. They can give you a call or go online, tjsterns.com, tjsterns.com, hit the connect button and request the nine critical risks to plan for report. So again, ladies and gentlemen, lots of great information here on the program, but the real value is the application of this information. Make sure that you're putting it to use. Tim Stern, CFP, will help you do that. Next on the list, Tim, one that I think we are unfortunately all too familiar with, which is market volatility. However, I think market volatility really turns a corner to being a significant factor when we turn the corner into retirement. Well, market volatility, I mean, up until the end of 2021, we had a 13-year bull market. And I think everyone out there in our radio listening area thought they were Warren Buffett, uh, being able to pick stocks and make money left and right. Uh, what we're seeing now is that everyone realized they're not. And according to most institutional money managers uh, that I work with, there was really nowhere to hide. Um, so having stopped losses last year was was absolutely important and, and needed to be done. Uh, not only that, but having a bedrock of maybe having an annuity or something like that that works uncorrelated to the uh, market was also very important. So those are the things that we do for our clients. I think market volatility at this stage of the game, you cannot invest the way you did when you were in your 40s. It's a different world. Uh, you know, and I see people time and time again coming in with this over concentration in stocks. And more importantly, there's stocks that don't have stop losses. So, I mean, you know, the devil's in the details, but you want to make sure that you are understanding what you have actually in your portfolio. And market volatility reared its head last year, and it's been kind of hit and miss this year. And we're seeing that people are still taking too much risk. Uh, over the course of a 25, 30, 35 year retirement, Tim, it's almost a certainty we are going to see not one, but probably several periods of market volatility and bear markets where we're down 20 to 30 to maybe even 40% or more in the markets. We better have a plan for that, right? Absolutely. And if you don't, guess what? The market does have a plan for you. And, uh, you know, it's not your grandfather's stock market where it went up through 1999. Uh, accordingly, you are seeing we're living kind of a um, almost like a roller coaster, you know, it goes up and then we give it back and then it goes up again and we give it back. So when are you timing out and, and selling things? I think you have to have tactical, active money management nowadays, not a buy and hold. An interesting side note, John Bogle, uh, you know, he created Vanguard and Vanguard, uh, his mantra was a buy and hold. And Vanguard is currently buying actively managed companies uh, that do that in the stock market. So I think that speaks volumes of what has changed in the last 30 years. Well, Tim, next on the list, maybe loosely associated with, probably directly associated with one that we mentioned before, legislative risk. But this is worth mentioning specifically because the baby boomer generation has such a large portion of their retirement savings and nest egg, and therefore their support and income in retirement in tax deferred yet to be taxed accounts. So taxation by itself in and of itself, a risk that must be addressed. Well, uh, you know, what did everyone do a couple of weeks ago? They they did their taxes, hopefully, right? Uh, basically, when, they, when you do your taxes, what do you normally do? You do shoulda, coulda, would've right? And you money morning quarterback your whole previous year. Uh, what we try to talk about is getting ahead of it, you know, having tax uh, planning, uh, tax mitigation, 
things like that. The opportunity for Roth conversions right now under the current tax laws at sunset at the end of 2025. There's a lot of things uh, that are out there to do this. And, um, you know, we run a really good report um, with the software that we have that can tell people kind of what your tax bill is going to be based on the tax uh, bomb that you have in your 401k. Your parents and everyone and their sister told you to put money away. And I understand that. Uh, for the rainy day. But unfortunately, when I ask in class, everyone talks about how taxes are going up. And if taxes are going up, wouldn't this be an opportune time to maybe do some tax mitigation, maybe do some conversions? If you haven't had that conversation with your spouse or your advisor hasn't brought it up, give us a call. We can run that software program so you can see exactly what I'm speaking of. Right. And and Tim, these laws have been on the books and slated for a tax change that is upcoming for several years. It's not like we have not known about this. And so if this conversation has not already started happening, we could have missed out on some opportunity here. And by the way, even the lower brackets are affected. The 12% moves back up to 15%. Tim, that's not a 3% tax increase. That is a 25% tax increase on those dollars. That's significant. Sure. If if we had the opportunity to pay 25% less in taxes or 25% more in taxes, I think 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10 savers and investors would choose the 25% less. And yet this is often not a conversation that has been brought up. And, and I haven't heard much of it anywhere except on this program. Exactly. So that that being said, get ahead of it, you know, do tax planning instead of tax preparation. You know, most accountants, unfortunately, are historians. They tell you what happened last year. How about trying to be a, a proactive and paying your taxes now because you need to figure it out, uh, because otherwise someone in your family will be paying it and, and the tax uh, bomb that we've we've created. Again, if you would like to specifically address this, and and who does not want to control and minimize the tax bill, ladies and gentlemen, we just got through realizing what we owed, reconciling what we paid last year, but it matters more planning for years ahead. It will make a much larger impact, and there are opportunities available right now for proactive planners to identify and enact. Pick up the phone, give Tim Stearns, TJ Stearns, Inc. a call, 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. Tim, another one that we've seen far too much of, inflation, and yet many financial plans for retirement don't even address inflation even after the last few years. Uh, interesting that they don't, because, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you who's trying to address it, the Federal Reserve. They've done a very poor job of it, in my opinion. Uh, when you print out all that money, what did you think was going to happen? Uh, now they're trying to get the horses back in the barn. So inflation is definitely something that needs to be involved in there. Uh, even historically, 100 years of inflation records are out there. It's been about 3.15. So on any plan that we do, we are using inflation as a factor um, you know, if you're starting out with a hundred thousand well, that you need for income, the next year will be a hundred and three thousand dollars, and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, a lot of people might come in with a an illustration that they got from a um, another advisor, uh, the showing that the market did five percent year after year, which you know we know that that doesn't happen. It does backtrack, and inflation's not even in there. Uh, so when we we look at every dollar that's going out and every dollar that's going in, and put an inflation factor to it. You have to. Again, if you would like the help of an experienced, qualified professional, a certified financial planning professional, and in fact, a team of financial tax and legal professionals putting their eyes, their perspective, their insight into your plan, that is the Protect and Grow plan that is available there at TJ Stearns, Inc. Pick up the phone and give a call to Tim Stearns CFP, 800-640-2256. That's 800 640 2256. Tim, this last one on the list, the one that multiplies the potential risk of all of these other risks that we've mentioned, that is something that we look at as as, as something we hope for and as a blessing, but there's two sides to the coin, two sides to longevity. Well, longevity is great, right? For all of us, if we live a long time. Uh, and I, that might sound kind of um, sophomoric, but I'm just saying that it's actually 
it, it's good and bad. It could you if you live a long time, you're going to see more inflation. You're going to see more pullbacks in the market. You must you might also see great things. But one of the things that Tom Hagner says is that longevity risk is hands down the number one risk in retirement. Tom Hagner is a great uh, writer that we've had on here, an author. Uh, he has great information as his paychecks to play checks. That being said, he said that that is the number one risk to retirement that a lot of people are not addressing. So I always talk to our clients about, you know, what if you what if you live too long? You know, so when we do our our plans, we are making sure we go out at least 30 years or so. Uh, we actually go out to 40 if they need it, depending on where they're at. But it, that's that's huge to do that because longevity risk is is the number one risk to retirement. And we actually do have Tom Hegna slated for another upcoming appearance here on the program. So we will look forward to uh, him joining us again and kind of giving us an update on what his beliefs and teachings are and, and his perspective on what's happened with inflation and stimulus and interest rates and market volatility since the last time we checked in with him. But again, this is uh, kind of a guru in the financial world, author of Paychecks to Playchecks, author of Don't Worry, Retire Happy. And uh, Tim, we'll, we'll look forward to having Tom join us again here in the very near future. But uh, for, for today's program, kind of wrapping things up again, nine critical risks. This is a report that goes over maybe the most important nine factors that a retirement plan should address, and yet many, often too many retirement plans we are seeing that do not address these risks. So you've made a report available if somebody would like to go over and learn more about them. And then you also offer the, the strategy session, the ability to put together that protect and grow written retirement plan. We're happy to do it, Peter, and, and we don't do, charge for it, you know, which I'm not trying to put a dollar price on it, but there is, a, you know, a, a lot of work that goes into it. And I know that it's helping people and that's why we do it. Well, again, if you would like to get that protect and grow written retirement plan put together with the help of experienced, qualified professionals, a certified financial planning professional, Tim Stern CFP makes that offer available. Just be one of the first 10 callers to today's program. If you've got at least 750000 saved for your retirement and your financial future, you can get that complimentary review, the written plan for your retirement. And, and if you would like help or assistance or answers to your questions, uh, at any financial status, if you would like direction or if you would like this list, this report of the nine critical risks to address, pick up the phone and give a call. 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. TJ Stearns, Inc. office conveniently located in Arlington Heights can meet with you over the phone, virtually, in person. You can attend one of the upcoming classes. Lots of resources and opportunities available, ladies and gentlemen. You got to just take that step. Pick up the phone, give a call. 800 640-2256 or visit online tjsterns.com tjsterns.com Tim, once again, always a pleasure and we appreciate your time. Thank you, Peter. Tune into Chicagoland Certified Financial Planner Tim Stearns' full radio program and visit tjsterns.com for many valuable resources including other great episodes of Chicagoland Retirement. Be sure to subscribe. Securities offered through T.J. Stearns, a registered representative of Crown Capital Securities LP, member FINRA SIPC. The information presented on this program is provided for informational purposes only without warranty of accuracy, completeness, or suitability for particular purpose. This program is not intended to be and does not constitute financial investment, legal, or tax advice. This information is general in nature, not specific enough to be construed as advice. You should not make any decision based on the information presented on this program without independent consultation with an appropriately licensed professional or competent advisor. Investment and security or the market involves a potential risk for loss of principal. Trading, therefore, may not be suitable for all listeners. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs.